Biden has sh truly shown that he is trash. Uh, since October 7th, the Israeli, uh, Biden has done nothing but support the Israeli government and their genocide against innocent Palestinians in Gaza and, and the West Bank because the Israeli government is murdering people in the West Bank and stealing their land. And Biden has no real issue with that. The only reason why he's pretending to be for a ceasefire and helping people in Gaza is because he's losing support amongst people on the left. So in order to try to regain those votes, he's going to pretend to be uh, in favor of helping people in Gaza when he's done nothing but support the Israeli genocide. When the UN has tried to do a ceasefire, the United States vetoes it, the ICJ, the United States defends the Israeli government, and Biden just gives them more money and arms. From the first Israeli strikes on Gaza during this conflict, the U.S. has been at Israel's side, showing solidarity. Your visit here is the first visit of an American president in Israel at a time of war. It is deeply, deeply moving. Political support. 13 votes in favor, one vote against. It did not recognize Israel's right to self-defense, which is a right that Israel has. Right, and Palestinians also have the right to self-defense. So if Palestinians decide to defend themselves against uh, in Gaza or the West Bank, these people have the right to self-defense. But the United States does not recognize Palestinians' right to self-defense. And of course, providing weapons. Lots of them. Yeah, without the United States providing unlimited bombs to the Israeli government, they wouldn't be able to murder as many innocent Palestinian babies. For decades, we've ensured Israel's qualitative military edge. And later this week, we're going to ask the United States Congress for unprecedented support package. Since October 7th, the U.S. has given Israel 21,000 precision-guided munitions, tens of thousands of 155-millimeter artillery shells, and thousands of bombs, including... And we're supposed to believe that uh, Biden cares about the Palestinians in Gaza and the West Bank if he did the Israeli government like uh, the Russian government, he would be putting sanctions on the Israeli government instead of giving them bombs. Bunker busters, which weigh up to one ton each and are prohibited under international law from being used in densely populated areas. Right, but does the United States nor the Israeli government actually care about international law? No, they don't. Because just one can kill hundreds of people. The most public displays of American political support for Israel those against? Seen in the U.S. vetoes of each and every U.N. Security Council resolution calling for a ceasefire. Shielding Israel even as it commits the most shocking crimes. And as the civilian death toll in Gaza has soared, U.S. President Biden's rhetoric has gone from this. I'm sure innocents have been killed, and it's the price of waging a war. To this. Wow, that's the price of the United States giving Israeli government unlimited bombs and funds being killed. And Biden admits that innocent people are being killed, yet doesn't want to do anything about it. But when it comes to Ukraine, Biden is all about protecting innocent lives as much as possible. What's the difference between Ukrainians and Palestinians? Well, Ukrainians are white. You cannot have 30,000 more Palestinians dead. But the message remains the same. The United States stands with Israel no matter what. Right now, they're trying to get another $14 billion to go to Israel for more bombs to kill more people. Mr. President. U.S. President Joe Biden may genuinely want a ceasefire in Gaza, but in terms of the tools at his disposal, it seems...
No, he doesn't genuinely want a ceasefire. That's a lie. He's just trying to convince people that have turned against him for supporting the genocide of Gaza back to him by pretending to be for a ceasefire. You wouldn't be continually giving a murderer guns and money if you were against murder. Seems there are only carrots and no sticks. At least, none that he's willing to use. I'm never going to leave Israel. The defense of Israel is still critical. Look at those. Israel. Critical of what? Critical for what? Like, how is the defense of Israel, like, that important to the United States? The Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu is insisting on a ground operation in Rafah. Where Though I find it funny how Biden, the supposed left-winger, who hates right-wing authoritarianism in the United States supports it in the Israeli government. Is It just doesn't make any sense. He's supposed to be against right-wing extremism, but supports it in another nation. Where a million and a half Palestinians are sheltering, defying all international pressure. But it's U.S. pressure that matters most. Rafa may be the proving ground for how much clout the Biden administration has with an Israeli government that so far has had no reservations in waging a war of collective punishment. Randall no, the United States has no influence over the Israeli government whatsoever. The only thing the Israeli government cares about the United States is the United States giving them uh, bombs and money and protection. <coughs> If the Israeli government uh, could do it, they would nuke the United States.